It's a beautiful fall morning throughout the U.S. where men, women, and children of all ages have gathered for a common cause. Pink shirts and ribbons that have become synonymous with breast cancer awareness are everywhere as the annual Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure gets underway. To understand the significance of the event, you have to go back to 1982. It was a very humble beginnings. It was the promise between two sisters. Uh, one of the sisters, uh, Nancy Brinker, made a, a promise to her sister, Susan G. Komen, to end breast cancer when her sister was diagnosed with breast cancer and later died of it at 37. When Nancy started fundraising for her sister, she literally started with like $200 in a shoebox. And then uh, came the ribbon, the pink ribbon, which is iconic and, and represents breast cancer everywhere. That was, that was Komen founded. From those humble beginnings emerged a foundation that has become known worldwide for its significant contributions to breast cancer. Improved mortality rates, millions of dollars raised for research, and countless lives changed have made Susan G. Komen one of our country's most revered charitable institutions. Paula Schneider is the current CEO of the company and admits that leading this esteemed organization was not what she envisioned for her life until she was directly affected by the disease. My story um, and my reflection on breast cancer is very personal. Uh, I had breast cancer. My mom died of breast cancer and I have two daughters. This is about not only my own daughters and making sure that they never have to deal with what I had to deal with and what my ultimately my mother dealt with, with the op opportunity to, to make a big difference and actually just cure breast cancer, close up shop, go home. While that is the ultimate goal for everyone, the harsh reality is that 12% of all women will be affected by breast cancer at some point in their lifetime. As the runs draw national attention and much needed support, it's the benefits from the money raised that is making a difference in the quality of life for those who have been affected. Now there are about 70% of women that don't need to have the chemotherapy that was originally, if you got diagnosed, let's say five or six years ago, that you would have had to have. So to avoid that, that's millions of women that are gonna be avoiding tremendous duress on themselves, their families, their loved ones. That's an amazing, amazing accomplishment. Although this form of cancer does not discriminate, Caucasian women are at a slightly higher risk of developing breast cancer. However, African-American women are more likely to develop a more aggressive advanced stage cancer. Susan G. Komen Foundation has been a very important factor in my journey. I was able to learn so much about breast cancer, especially how it affects the black community, the disparities amongst black women. Though the fight against breast cancer has made great strides from those early days, the determination to eradicate this devastating disease has inspired a resilient army of staff, donors, and volunteers to continue the fight. I think that the, the mission that we're on has had so many amazing breakthroughs, but there are still over 40,000 people that die of breast cancer every year, and even though the mortality rates have come down, we are nowhere near done. There is so much power in our women in pink with pitchforks. When we get behind something, we get it done. This galvanizing force of people is a great testament to the resolve and collective strength of the millions of people who have worked together to find a cure. Susan G. Komen and Nancy Brinker will forever be heroic American figures, as are the countless number of people who have carried the torch and won't stop until ultimate success is achieved. There's so much opportunity for people to get involved with us and help us because this is, this is not something that just affects a few people. It affects one in eight. I'm sure most of you have heard that, that, that statistic before. And these are your, your mothers, your sisters, your family members, your friends. But, you know, I feel like this is so impactful and this is so important. And every single day that I go to work, I'm motivated and I'm motivated by the people that reach out to me and I'm motivated by the, the research that we do. And I'm motivated by all the people that we can help every single day. And we, you know, when I used to say to, in any other job that I was working at before, you know, don't sweat it people, we're not curing cancer. Here we're curing cancer. 
So help us cure cancer.